Welcome to Dogland. Yes, welcome to my Atari ST nostalgia trip. And today, as you can hear, I'm going to take a look back at Gold Runner, made by Steve Back and Pete Lyon, published by Microdeal in 1987. And this is the first shoot 'em up in my nostalgia tour. And as it happens, it's also one of the very first we had with our ST that I actually really enjoyed playing. Um, so yeah, that, that's nice. The goal of this game is to destroy the enemy infrastructure on the ring worlds of Triton, um, Triton, sorry. And uh, they are basically very large spaceships, um, and you have to destroy their energy reserves. Um, and apart from that, there's not much of a backstory that I know of, but that's how it should be with shoot 'em ups. It's always basically they bad, you good, shoot to kill. So yeah, as you can hear, I've already started the game up, and it's, it's running in demo mode at the moment. So let's switch to the to play screen, um, and we should maybe have a have a look uh, and see uh, how many skills I lost. Uh, I hope not too many. I had a few test runs; they went sort of okay. So you can press, uh, yeah, you can press one to start a new game. Sorry, you can press one to start a new game. So I have three salvos remaining. I will first quickly pause the game because. Um, Many people seem to have uh, no knowledge about what the right side of the screen actually means. Um, because as you can see you have my ship. And in the top you can see the number of ships I have left. So uh, there's two extra lives left uh, beside this one. And the text below that is the, the number of the player and the current high score. So it's player 1 and the high score is 0. Because the game doesn't seem to remember the high scores uh, from previous plays. And then the number below that is actually the number of the ring world I'm in. So I'm in level 1, ring 1. And this, the three items below are actually quite important because the, especially the purple thing, that purple figure, that's actually the amount of energy left in the ring. And if that icon is completely disappeared, so if that icon is completely black, it means I have destroyed enough of the infrastructure of the enemies that I can actually exit the level and go to the next one. Uh, the one below that is an indicator uh, if my wing lasers are still operational, uh, because after a few hits you might lose them, and then my power is getting my firepower is actually quite weak, so it makes it much more difficult to play. And the one below that is the status of my booster. Uh, if that one is gone, going black after a few hits, it means I cannot use my boosters anymore. Um, yeah, which means there's only so much I can do when it comes to speed and, and, and getting away from stuff. Uh, of course below that is my score, which is currently zero, and then you see these lightning icons, which means th these are the number of hits I can take. So if I take five hits, uh, I think the sixth hit from an enemy bullet, I die. And the other way to die, of course, is to fly into an enemy structure. So I will unpause the game now. Uh, like these, these ones are high structures. You can see they cast a large shadow. Uh, if I fly into those, I die instantly, uh, which I don't want. And of course, this one is also the mm, let me get away from the enemy. This one is also the level exit, the middle one. Uh, if I try to fly into it now, of course I will die. And I can use the space bar for the booster, which allows me to fly really fast across the level. So you, you can actually choose a direction in which you want to go to the ring. If you keep going, you will just end up back here anyways. And you will see me changing speed and changing direction a lot. That's to dodge the enemy bullets actually. Because they fire a bullet, it's going straight for me, but if I ch uh, change direction or speed, the bullets will also always lag, uh, they will lag behind a bit, and I already took a hit, which is just really dumb. Uh, because it's difficult to talk and play at the same time, that's why. But as soon as they're enemies, yeah, I always choose to sort of avoid them, instead of really trying to shoot the enemies, because... It's the ground targets that are really important, those are the important ones to, to get, because... As you can see, the purple icon on the right is, is turning black slowly. Yeah, and I just when I near enemies, I tend to just just change direction a lot. Let me fast forward to this one a bit. Uh, yeah, there's a ground target. There's a ground target. And of course, the background. Yeah, the scrolling is very very smooth, which is really nice. Um, it does take some tweaking into the, in the, in your emulator to actually get that uh, scrolling smooth. Uh, it's, I, it seems to be working now. I did a recording before where I was actually quite proud of my gameplay. I got quite far. Um, I mean, for, for not playing the game for such a long time, I actually got to ring 4. Uh, I'm not sure if I will be able to manage that in this case. Yeah, and it's really annoying. That for some reason, the enemies also tend to want to pay you a visit right when you are uh, when you are between all these high 
structures because these ones are all very high. So this is a kind of da dangerous part of the level. Yeah, these enemies, uh, I tend to avoid them. It's sort of a risk reward situation, I guess, for points. Um, if you want to destroy them, make sure you destroy them just like very early on. If they come in the screen, make sure you shoot them. Because the longer they stay in your screen with you, yeah, the more bullets they will fire at you. So I tend to mostly avoid them and just go for, uh, for infrastructure. And you don't have to destroy every ground target in the game. Uh, and I guess the percentage you have to destroy will probably change and it will probably increase as you increase, uh, as you progress through levels. Yeah, let's get rid of those. Oh, that was, a, that was, I almost made a really stupid mistake. Yeah, these are the parts of the game where you have to be really, really careful. As you can see now also. Can I dodge that one? Yeah. Ooh, it's so difficult to dodge the enemies and be in, in between these high buildings. But those are the dangerous part of the levels. You really have to be very careful about. Yeah, and it, I mean, you can't fly into the enemies, which is nice. Of course, they can uh, be firing a bullet right at, uh, when they are right on top of you, which means you can't dodge it. There's no way to avoid the bullet in, in, in that case. So, that's probably a bit annoying in the game. Uh, but I have destroyed, uh, at the moment, I've destroyed enough ground targets to be able to leave the level. Um, and I still have my wing lasers, which is nice, because losing your wing lasers right when you get into a bonus level is actually... You need them, because um, this is sort of prize shooting. But if you get a perfect score, you get 10,000 points extra. Uh, and you, if you don't have your wing lasers, this bonus level is actually a lot more difficult to complete. I mean, not to complete, but it's more difficult to get a good score. And I... Oh, I missed one of the ships, so... While talking about it, I wasn't paying attention, and that, that just cost me 10,000 points, which is annoying. So I will probably get like 6,000 points on this bonus round, which could have been like more than 16,000, yeah, see, even less, I just, I just missed 10,000 points in score, which is a bit disappointing, but I progressed to the next level, uh, and these ones also tend to be a bit more difficult, uh, especially when it comes to high structures, they, they get more difficult to avoid in these, these higher levels, I think in ring 2 it's still kind of okay, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'm mainly happy that I still have my wing lasers, because if you lose like wing lasers and boosters and you get to the next ring, you don't get them back. There's no way to get to get wing lasers or boosters back if you are... Uh, I mean, there's no, no power-ups, as you can see. This is just the whole game. There's no power-ups, there's no way to repair or uh, uh, get your health back or repair your ship. So if you if you lose your wing lasers, uh, that's it. You you have lost them, and you will only get them back if you lose your life and go into another life. Um, I don't know why they chose that. Uh, because yeah, it, it feels a bit unfair. If you're doing sort of really well, you get off a level on one life, but then you have to start the next one. Just being really weak. I mean, after it will hit you, you just get weaker and weaker, and then you die. There's no way to do anything about it, and I just took two hits at once, being right close to the enemies. That was a stupid mistake, so I've lost my boosters. Yeah, I lost my boosters. I didn't like that one. That was that felt a bit unfair, but it was just... It was just me getting a bit too close to the enemy ships. So, yeah, that's the reason why... Whenever an enemy gets into my screen, I just tend to really want to avoid them. Or at least do do a big chick, big change in speed, especially in this part, because yeah, see, this is a part with high structures, and this one is actually quite tricky. So I want to, I really want these. Come on, leave me alone. Because this is a difficult part. You want to be really slow here. Yeah, there's two rows of high buildings, and you really have to get from one side of the screen all the way to the other side. And if you were using your boosted at that time. Um, basically that's it, you, you, you don't see them coming and you die, so you have to be really really careful in this game. 
Yeah, and I know a lot of people, uh, they have complaints about this game, that they don't, the music doesn't fit. I actually think it fits quite well. I prefer this version over the C64 version of this, uh, this song by Rob Hubbard. This one is more, I don't know, the bass line is a bit better, uh, even if the sounds are simpler. But I think it, it sort of fits the the atmosphere of the game. It, it's a shoot em up, but it's also, I don't know, it's sort of a hero score, but not too frantic. But maybe that's just me. But lots of people will probably disagree. Uh, and I've lost track of which part I already destroyed of this thing. And actually I destroyed enough... I depleted enough energy already uh, in this ring to actually be able to get to the next one, which is a good thing. Uh, I still... yeah, it's, it's racking up some points basically now. But I might be able to get to ring 3, yeah. Um, which is a good thing, because this, this ring, the color of this ring, makes it really difficult to see the enemy bullets. There we are. Yeah, I should be... I should keep firing my gun so actually I can also get lucky with, with these bonus rounds. Because also the enemy patterns, uh, the enemy patterns in this bonus round, they get quicker and more difficult to... They get more diff... Did I miss one? I didn't notice. Maybe I missed one, I'm not sure. I think the next one's... Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, I missed that one. I tried to predict from memory where the enemies would be, and they came in another spot. I got confused, and again, I missed one and missed 10,000 points. Yeah, I'm disappointing myself a bit here. But I'm in ring 3, which is Triton 111. So... I'm not too disappointed with my gameplay, to be honest. I mean, yeah, the previous recording I went into uh, Ring 4, but for some reason I had my emulator settings uh, wrong, so it was... You could not see anything of the smooth scrolling of the game, which is basically its selling point anyway. Um, but yeah, at least I changed the background color of the, of the different rings, which brings some variation to the game. Um, yeah, do I like the game? I actually, I still do. I have a sort of soft spot for this one. It's... And now I've lost my wing laser, so... I have to finish the rest of the level without boosters and without wing lasers, which makes it really difficult. Um, which means, yeah, I have to focus on dodging everything instead of trying to be a hero. Yeah, oh, come on. I mean, I still have some lives left, so if I don't make it in this life... Uh, oh, this is... Yeah, these parts get more and more difficult with... Only the front lasers is... So you can see I'm going a bit more quiet also because now I know I'm, I'm a lot more vulnerable to all the enemies. Because it's more difficult for me to shoot them. Ooh, that was, that was a very risky move that I did there. I really allowed the enemy to go right on top of me, which... Yeah, it means if they fire a bullet at that moment, I'm just dead. It's, it's, it's simple as that. You cannot... It's almost unavoidable. But let me rack up some, some ground targets here, that's at least... Uh, come on, I just want to go in a straight line without being bothered by these bullets. Ooh, again, that was very risky. Oh, leave me alone. Just leave me alone, I want to get out this ring. And I actually got enough... Uh, yeah, I destroyed enough energy to get off. Uh, so I have to, I, what I have to do is find the exit. Um, I'm not sure if it's close. I mean, some sort of map uh, to to show you where where in the ring you actually are would have been nice. And now I have the choice to do I rack up some points or do I go for the exit? I will just rack up some points, which I will probably regret because this will result in me getting. Yeah, actually, actually, I should just get to the exit. Oh, see, this is stupid. I should have gone for the exit, now I got I got killed and yes I have my shields and weapons back but I have to restart this entire ring again. You don't get your progress. If, if you die in a level, that's it, you have to start all over again. So that was a stupid mistake, I could have, I could have made it to ring 4 and be proud. And I just got cocky, uh, I got hungry for more points and I, I ruined it. 
At least, I don't know, maybe I should just pay a bit more attention. Oh, come on, leave me alone. Well played. Well played, well... I disagree. I could have been in a different world by now. Yeah, the speech encouragements are... I don't know, I kind of like them. Uh, I know many people don't. Many people, they get, they get a bit tired of it, I guess. In the end, yeah, because there's not so much going on, except for just new rings with a different layout, the game gets a bit repetitive. Which, yeah, it, 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 it can get boring, probably, after some time. Uh, for some reason, I just want to keep playing. Um, I don't know why. So there's, there's something up, yeah, I, I don't know, it, it's the atmosphere, maybe it's just a good memory that this was the first game that felt so smooth. I mean, it's not just the scrolling that is smooth, actually the controls are are also very responsive. I mean, it, it's a bit difficult to turn around. My ship takes some time to actually decelerate and turn into the other direction. Uh, so that's something to get used to, but still... Yeah, I know, the, the gameplay... They got the gameplay right, I think. Um, so is this the best game on the Atari ST? No, probably not. Oh, c ooh, that one was so close. There was no way for me to dodge that bullet, so I got lucky that it actually didn't do me any damage. That was still some job. Watch out. And I actually destroyed enough. So... Yeah, as you can see... Uh, decelerating and changing direction, that's the way to deal with the enemy bullets. Um, and then hope there's not too many high stretches around. Um, and what also helps is, is, is if you play the game alone, don't try to talk to someone, because it, it really, yeah, I'm, I'm distracting myself with my own voice, and that makes it a bit difficult to... Ooh. Yeah, and luckily there's no limited amount of bullets! Oh no, don't! Leave me alone! God damn it, leave me alone! I just want to get off the level! Oh, this is so annoying. Come on, ah, yes. And the bonus round, this one uh, gets more difficult to get all the enemies as well, because sometimes they fly from the back of the screen, and it's almost impossible to... I think they come from here now. No, they don't. Alright. Yeah, it's difficult to predict, and I tend to just keep the fire button pressed. At least you have auto-fire by default. It makes it also less frantic. And I think that's also what makes this game different than other ones. Maybe I told it already, I forgot because it's... Oh, come on, I could have gotten those. I lost four of them, I almost had the bonus. But I think that's, that's also why this music suits the game. It's... It's, it's a shoot em up, but it's, it's not as frantic as the other ones. It's... You could... Oh, I forgot that actually in this ring, yes, there's a high structure right... Right there immediately. So there's, there's like buildings trying to kill you. Oh, it's, it's so close. Yeah, and... and oh, I was going to say, I probably won't be able to get off this one, because... Yeah, and it's a bit annoying that instead of instead of having uh, like the standard three high buildings and then going into the level, you immediately get close to these really high structures, which makes the game way more difficult starting from this level. So it's also getting more. Yeah, you have to get. Oh, you be more careful when uh, applying your boosts in this one. And I think I got hit there. I wasn't paying attention because, again, this level has a color that makes it very difficult to dodge. And very difficult to see the enemy bullets, uh, and which makes it very difficult to dodge them as well. I think I, there was another hit there. Yeah. I... Oof. Okay, now I'm doing this really bad. You can see the number of enemies actually is also increasing quite a lot. Uh, so, from, from Ring 4, this game really, really starts to get very difficult. I think... I don't know why, it's... Maybe it's just me, but it, it feels like there's a sudden increase in difficulty, and... Yeah, I've lost my wing laser, I've lost my, my booster, so now this, this level gets so difficult to complete. Because as you can see, there's still a lot of energy left. A lot of... Oh, come on! Watch out. 
Oh, and I did. Yeah, I'm going to get killed now. I have to dodge this rain of bullets within within the buildings, and this is game over. Yeah, which which. Still, I must say, 170,000 is actually not bad. Um, but as you can see, yeah, suddenly, uh, starting level 4 especially, the difficulty gets a lot higher. There's a lot more high structures that you can kill yourself into. There's a lot more enemies, and also they fire a lot more bullets at that time. So, yeah, I've seen some people get to ring 9 and even further. It, it's, um, yeah, I never got that far. Ring 4 or 5 is probably as far as I got uh, back then. Still, I'm quite happy with this game. Um, I still like it a lot. The, the graphic style and music make it feel very different from other shoot 'em ups, and I think even the lack of power ups and the, lef the lack of healing power uh, or repairing, I still like it. Yeah, I liked it a lot back then, and I still like it a lot now. Um, yeah, the speech encouragements get a bit annoying, maybe uh, at some point. And I think there's only one thing I didn't show you yet, and that's you can turn off the music. And if you turn off the music, this game, this shows just how important the music is for this game, because... Yeah, those laser sound effects, I mean... They could have done that a bit better, but yeah, th this is the reason why you should always play this game with the music on, because... This, no, come on. Play it with music. You have to use a nice atmosphere. Um, yeah, I think it's also time to end the video. I'm, I've played quite a long time. Uh, the, 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 the games take quite long. So I will... Let's go back to the intro screen and sort of fade out the music for you so the ending of this video is not too sudden. Um, so just to reminisce, uh, yes, I like uh, the game a lot. I actually still like it a lot. I appreciate the fact that this was the first one with, with ultra smooth vertical scrolling, even if the color palette is very limited um, because of it. Um, yeah, the game, I mean, the game itself looks a bit like sort of vertical scrolling Iridium, but I can forgive them for that as well. It's very simple, but I think if you need some uncomplicated shooting without it getting too frantic, this is the go-to game to go to. And with those remarks, I would like to end the video. I hope you enjoyed watching this one, and I hope to see you next time.